Yes, that he's very motivated to get into that top eight conversation. We'll show the rankings here later on during the the matchup to show that he's on the outside looking in, but he still does have a chance. He has to win a lot, and he needs the guys in front of him to lose. Oh. My goodness. Like, I mean, I was ready to talk about how good the first volley was from Kaysen Campbell, and then <laughs> Jack Sock pulls that out. Sack versus hat. I like it. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty funny. Sock versus hat. We had we had a uh, uh, sock and Callie Smith. So it was like a sock smith. I don't, I don't know if that's someone who makes socks in the medieval times or, or something. But you know, you gotta have. I mean, this we're we're on here for a few hours, Michelle. We gotta have some fun up here. Just deep on the serve, Casey Campbell, such a youngster, 18 years old, based out of South Florida, picked up a pickleball paddle in December of 22. That's a beautiful ball again from Jack Sock. Yeah, that early forehand from Sock cross court this time going up the line. So, uh, I mean, Sock can do it on that forehand side. And that is just disgusting inside out. Running all the way around the backhand and then deciding to not go with pace, to go with touch and feel, and he's rewarded. A little wide for Sock. And Kaysen Campbell boasts a 65% win percentage in his young pickleball career. Wow, sends a cannon to the corner. Wow. He's an electrifying talent. He is, beautiful inside in. And I would actually say both players have a similar trajectory where they, they kind of burst on the scene with some big wins early on. And, and not that they've just completely disappeared, but haven't had as many of the deep runs in the second half of the year. So this is a, a big match for several reasons that we've talked about, but uh, both both fellas looking for, uh, you know, another big breakthrough to, to possibly make it to the semifinals or beyond. Love this drone-like view of Proton center court. Just deep on the volley for Kurt Case and Campbell. And Campbell found pickleball by way of High-level tennis background in his junior career. Tennis is kind of wearing him down a little bit. His mom noticed that, put a pickleball paddle in his hand, and reinvigorated his love for racket sports. Yeah, now he's the the 20 seed on the top tour in the world. So, uh, pretty pretty cool story. Very nice first volley from Case and Campbell. Going to need more of that as uh, the points are looking to be very quick hitting early in this matchup. Serve, return, third shot, always a big factor. But sometimes you get uh, these matchups where it's even, even more. Four, four. Very unique shot selection there as Kaysen Campbell decides to go away from the top spin and look for a sneaky backhand slice attack up the line and can't find it. And a miss from Campbell. Jack Sock feeling a relief of some pressure. <laughs> Jack says he's very sorry, and I believe him. That was that was a pretty nasty <laughs> miss hit that just dropped three inches inside he's the baseline. I think he kissed his paddle. He should have. He's had a couple of those this weekend. Uh, struck pretty well from Jack Sock, but sometimes when you go with that inside-out forehand, you get the side spin moving away from the court, and that's what happened. Missed by about four or six inches. Good look, though. Uh, 
great pickup on the two-handed backhand side from Kaysen Campbell in the heart of that point. But Jack Sock standing strong at the kitchen line to finish a couple shots later. Six, four. Out. A little off balance for Jack Sock. Uh, look over and I see Colin Schick and Brooke Buckner. And we have a look here at the bird's nest of Grandstand Court. Mm -hmm. and Brooke Buckner just did some damage over there. Uh, had a she quick sure match. Uh, and we talked about her having that two seed. So maybe in the stoppages of play in this match, she can give some words of wisdom to Jack right Sock. Out. brief discussion with the referee from Sock. Not sure what was said, but it was a very, very short conversation. Buckner's match was 11-1, 11-2, to your point there, Adam. I looked over five times and there was five <laughs> winners from Brooks, so uh, I was like, I think she's doing okay. <laughs> this is the last singles matchup we'll show on center court, then we move to mixed doubles. Jason Campbell doing work on his way up to the kitchen. Uh, it was funny. Jack, uh, knowing he's in big trouble, just takes a wild swing, uh, kind of as a joke. But uh, what a, a great combination Five from Casey Campbell with the forehand ground stroke and then uh, the backhand volley to finish. Ooh, it was wide, but close enough. You might be hearing the tornado sirens in the background. It's just a test. Nope. Nobody is round a 16 that he will leapfrog Christian for that eighth spot. Wide was the call from Sock. Case and Campbell looking to challenge. I think he will, yes. Uh, I kind of gave Jack the, the confirmation that, that uh, with the flat the hand. The board is overturned, the ball was in. And he just taps his chest. Five, My six. bad. You know, you can't you can't so see him all perfectly. Two timeouts. I will say that Jack Stock calls a very good line yeah. and fair line in the matches that I have Nine, seen eight. him play. 200, five, 240 frames per second gives the cameras the edge against the human eye. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, it's it's just a guarantee to occasionally miss a call. Six, five. Out. Jack looking for that inside out forehand roll. Nice work from Case and Campbell uh, to take that ball out of the air and put maximum pressure on Jack. Five, Just kind of swatted at a one handed backhand, hoping to make it, and he didn't. Ooh, there it is. A little snaky forehand from Jack Sock. Yeah, never. Never great if you're Casey Campbell to come forward to the kitchen line and then in the same point Six, be forced five. to retreat. Point. Man, that's, you know, I talk all the time about those deep middle returns and how they're great to not give angles, but we saw Jeannie Bouchard in the previous match hit through that Six, same five. situation and, and Jack definitely has the power on the forehand side to create his own opportunity point. and wow. back to back forehands. The forehand of Jack Sock is having a moment here in game number. I have bad bunions. Wish they'd disappear. Sup, future me. I know bunions. How? Lapoplasty. Lapoplasty corrects bunions at the source, meaning you're back in sneakers in weeks. Lapoplasty. Weeks! The future of bunion surgery is here. Learn more at lapoplasty.com. Risks include infection, pain, and loss of correction. All ending up in that same corner, but the shots hit to get there have been different. And that is a four spot. <laughs> Just peppering that corner pocket and earning himself a game point. Dead five. Ooh, right just out. wide. Yeah, good work from Casey Campbell to find the backhand corner of Sock. 
another one of those players who you know loves the forehand but is so athletic and moves so well just so hard to find Five, that man. backhand corner another player like that is Tyson McGuffin just can't find it Side out. Game, point. game point number two now for Jack Sock expected this one to be a little bit closer Jason Campbell survives another game point. Yeah, Jack not able to clear his body, find Five, that ten. proper contact point on the inside out forehand. Side out, game point. Yeah, I agree though, Michelle. You know, not that this has been terribly lopsided, mm -hmm. but there hasn't been a lot of extended rallies or, or point construction. There's been some great shot making but pretty short points throughout. Wow, great volleys. I think we might have had a lefty forehand there from Sock. I was a little blocked off, but I, I, that would have been a pretty special Five, shot if he did pull that off. Just deep on the serve for Campbell. Can't blame him for going for it with the pressure Sock has been applying on his forehand. Ten, five. Game point number four for Jack Sock. Oh, gives it right back. Yeah, friendly game. They're bantering on the bench during timeout. So, you know, <laughs> just giving Five, each man. other a couple gifts here. That's yeah, just so Game heavy point. on the return from Sock. And, and of course, I mentioned, you know, not a lot of extended rallies. You don't get that very much in singles. But I think it could be a hair cleaner overall. Man. Wow. <laughs> Just filthy. Off the forehand of Jack Sock. 11-5 finish. First year as a full-time pro. A lot of things would have to go right for yes. him. But still a chance. Yeah. So he needs a uh, little help from Hunter Johnson. Has to beat uh, Jaume Martinez Vic and at least medal in the tournament. Great start for Kaysen Campbell. Inside and forehand. I mean, these these fellas are hitting with so much pace. Just heavy shots. Serve, return, and the third. Oh, my. Fade away cross court. How did Jack Sock get there and hit that shot off of nothing? No, I, I don't know. I've never hit a shot like that before, <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> but, I mean, Case and Campbell cannot be in more perfect position and control of that point. But, as he hits a return right off the baseline, always a great strategy. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's what a special skill set does, you know? Like, uh, I mean, if, I, if I'm playing singles, I have to be in control. I have to hit the shot, and I don't have that ability One to zero. get out of jail, so to speak. But uh, when, you're, when you're special and, and you can come up with shots in a variety of positions, you have that ability. Great two-handed backhand cross court from Sock. Just deep for Jack Sock. Thought he had the opening. He did. Just missed it long. One zero. point of the match really nice stuff from case and Campbell from the back of the court forcing Jack sock to go with the backhand slice anytime you can enforce your opponent to go with slice that means you put them in a tough situation wow. oh, great man. shot from Campbell yeah to take that on the rise he had to Jack sock hit that return with so much pace Jason Campbell found that forehand up the line. Point. Just a fantastic start from Casey Campbell in game two. 
matching the heavy hitting of Jack's sock so far. on the board. Yeah, there's no there's no holding back here. It's like you're, you're basically, tr they're trying to beat each other to the punch of hitting an absolutely amazing shot. And, and when the points are, are short four. as they have been, yeah. you have to do that on the serve of the return. The, yeah. the, those are, are the first two. Even if that means sprinkling in a couple errors, if you, if you let off the gas, you're, you're just going to pay with the shot making ability of these two. So ramp it up even more. Side out. A little slow walk from Jack Sock back to his service position, just managing the game. Jason Campbell under his breath, getting himself pumped up. A couple of those uh, first and second volleys in game one were being sprayed. He seems to be more on it in game two from the kitchen line. That's so good. Clean winner to the forehand side of Jack Sock. 5-1 lead. This is an almost identical situation to what we had in Mesa. Yeah, great technique on the two-handed backhand from Campbell. Nice shot from the truck. Oh, my. Jack Sock finds a ball out of reach for Kaysen Campbell. For, and an incredible name, too. Jack Sock back to serve now in a four-point hole called the offensive timeout, as Adam pointed out, ahead of the break. Point. That's a great way to come out of that break for Jack Sock. Very nice. But, you know, I mean, he's, he's down in game two. So, yeah. so kind of taking some time in between points, could that could be a factor to get back in it. But, like you said, a lot more wear and tear on the body from a long tennis career. There could be, you know, just a bit of uh, fatigue. Well, that always amazes me, too, in, in these types of matchups, right? This is Jack's second pro career. You've got young teenagers that are starting to take over the sport, like the Casey Campbells, like the Kwong Tuongs, Hayden Patrick Quinn, Gabe Tardio, Annalie. And these 30-plus are still hanging. Can't always say the same thing in other sports. Yeah, no, I, I agree completely. Makes, I mean, it makes for a fun dynamic. Yeah, it does. You know? the, the smarter veterans, more life experiences and the, you know, the youthful exuberance uh, of some of the other players just out there letting it fly. So it's a nice contrast of styles and one of the beauties of the sport of pickleball that those uh, two types of players can compete at a similar level. Oh, what a get from Kaysen Campbell on the run. That's a tough one to lose for Sock, who is in a commanding position that entire point. Just incredible movement from Kaysen Campbell to continue to get balls back. Oh, sneak attack from Jack Sock. Our showtime in midair, jumping the corner of the kitchen. About, you know, seven options for Jack Sock, and you know he he chose the most spectacular one. As one does As in one this does. situation. Sock fades a bad bounce, and then Kaysen Campbell says, well, if you got that one back, I'm just going to paint the baseline on the next shot. <laughs> it's a lot to overcome from Sock. Really nice Thank shots you. from Campbell. Oh, 
Sorry, Alex. Wow. Yeah, that's nice, because uh, the approach shot was great from Campbell. Love what he did there. I understand directionally it was to the forehand of Jack Sock, which you, you have to be careful with, but the depth was there. Wow, Casey Campbell finds the hole in a unbelievable scramble again on his backhand wing. Yeah, he is very quick. Nice reads, too, on the shots that Sock is hitting. And Sock has put away plenty of forehands in this match, but if... You know, he's not ripping a clean winner. It seems that Casey Campbell has a pretty good beat on some of the other shots Sock is hitting. Just yeah, keep hitting it, Campbell. I mean, I know he missed that one, but that's, that's the recipe. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, you know, with, with Sock having so much success with that inside-in forehand, mm -hmm. when he does decide to go inside-out, even if it's not hit with that much pace, Five, it, it's often working out for him. Campbell's quick, but he can't cover right. everything. And it over a missed return and another point. Here comes Jack Sock with a comeback. Trailing big. enough to actually seal this one. We'll see if it can. Jack Sock looking to add another. Well, Sock was on that. Ball hit very well from Case and Campbell. But Sock had that paddle position out in front just late. Deep return to the backhand side was the choice for Jack Sock on that return. Yeah, Sock not going away. Slow walk to find that pickleball and get ready to serve for Jack Sock. <laughs> That's a big deal now. Yeah, you one know, point away. One point away into, you know, moments ago, you know, in Sock's mind, we're probably going to play three. Right. And now an opportunity to not even have to deal with the third game. Point. Wow. And an inside in pass cross court to tie it at eight. You go back to that offensive timeout he called out. Yep. That was a, a crucial turning point. I, believe, I think I believe that was one five Michelle when he mm -hmm. did call that it's been all sock ever since Oh too good from Jack sock it's just it's how is that possible you cannot move that well being six three and a big strong guy court coverage from Jack sock just so phenomenal throughout that point and an awkward paddle position on that last backhand shot that he was able to execute for the winner cross. Right. So in the terms of point context and how deep Jack Sock needs to go, Adam mentioned he needs to at least get to the semis to get 800 points into his point category. Hunter Johnson is who he's really directly competing with at this point. Christian Elshon's going to drop out of the mix and Hunter Johnson already advancing to the round of 16, which means he will automatically get 200 points added. So Jack Sock in a bit of a hole here compared to Hunter. So if he 
has a chance to take out Chao Mei in the next round. That would be massive, but safe to say he has to get through the next two rounds to have a chance. Right. Yes, absolutely true. And, I mean, he has to beat Chao Mei anyway. So you're right. Hunter, Hunter is the main is the main issue right now. So uh, you know, lots of points on the line that we brought up multiple times. So uh, they are available, but he still he still needs uh, uh, to play well and have some things go right for him. Zhao Mei won his entrance into the round of 16 by a score of 11-7 and 11-0 on Mo Alhuni. And another offensive timeout for Jack Sock. Smart. I think it's working in his favor for sure. Missed the serve. Still ahead by one. First lead of game two for Jack Sock. Casey Campbell with a chance to tie it. Inside out and a pass to tie it at nine. Yeah, very short return from Jack Sock. Still have to make the pass. Casey Campbell makes it and gets very pumped up afterwards. Oh, oh wow. Missed. That was a lot closer. Interesting, de thought. yeah. Interesting decision, Michelle, from Sock to stay back for two shots before deciding. Nine, nine. Wow, acrobatic! Great choice too. Yeah, good serve, good return. <laughs> Everything was good there, and uh, Case and Campbell needed those two shots to be big, and they were. On the read, actually, there you're wondering who's going to go inside out, inside in. Unfortunate bounce off the tape. Well played by Jack Sock. I, b I believe he truly feels bad about that one. <laughs> Not everyone does. Point. Match point for Jack Sock on the missed return. Match point. 10 9. What a play. One match point saved by Casey Campbell. Yeah, and he, Kaysen had a big opening to the forehand of Sock to hit into, and he chi chooses to go fully cross-court back. What a shot from Campbell. That's deep on the return. Tie game continues, 10 apiece. Oh, baby. Getting good here in game two. 10, 10. Jack Sock gets it right back. That's a thunderous backhand volley from Sock to the open court. Ten, ten. Point. Ooh. Campbell wanted that angle again to the backhand corner of Sock. Doesn't get there. Jack Sock steals another match point. Jack Sock is moving on to the round of 16. Case and Campbell put up a great fight. Not good enough, though. Jack Sock perseveres in game two to forge a crazy comeback. 